hungry heart home. And I am giving you guys a little insight this week into my morning routine. So last week was basically a write-off in my life. I made a huge life change announcement, which was kind of emotional and like all consuming, had been weighing very heavy on me for a good chunk of time. And it was just like a huge release to get it off of my shoulders and get it out there and put it out there. It was also the anniversary of my father passing away, which was always a tough week for me personally. So seriously, last week was a total write-off in my life. Um, that being said, I have worked from home for over six years. I have my daily routine down to kind of like a fine art, and I figured I'd give you guys a little insight into what that looks like. So if that is something that you're interested in seeing a little bit more about, keep watching. All right, so I'm trying to keep it as real as possible this morning. The dogs are not locked away in some room, so you can't hear them. They'll be fighting in the background. Again, this is my real life morning routine. Nate just left for work and I just got started on my second cup of coffee, which give me a sec because your girl needs some more caffeine. I'm really not a breakfast kind of person at all, at all. I probably should be, it would probably be healthy for me, but I never have been my whole life. So yeah, no breakfast routine being filmed for you because this is all she wrote for me in the mornings, though I am pretty stoked. This is a mug from when we went to Disneyland Paris. And it's probably one of my all time favorite trips that we've taken. So it's nice to drink out of a magical little mug like this. So this week is um, getting back to my routine. Like I said before, it, last week was a total write off for me. But today starts a new month, and not only does it start a new month, but it is my birthday week. I turn 36 years old um, on Saturday, and yeah, I've got a lot of work to do to get my life up to par and um, get back into the swing of things and build this next business for myself. And so I really can't let this next week be another write-off. And so for those of you just getting used to working at home, I know it's a struggle. I know there's so many days when it's easier to just kind of like um, kick the bag around and pretend that you're doing things or do the minimal amount of stuff. But I promise you, you feel so much better. I think the one thing I've learned in six years of working from home is that the more productive I am throughout the day, the better I feel overall. Um, the days that I'm slacking or the weeks that become a write-off for me like last week just make me feel worse and can kind of make you spiral. So on that note, um, something I really like to do, pause for dogs craziness. Can we chill, please? Story of my life. Something I really like to do on the days that I want to be productive, even if I'm not filming anything, is um, get ready. Do my hair and do my makeup, put a bra on, get dressed, and just feel like a normal human. I know in the past like year, um, that has been a struggle. We've all been like working in our yoga pants and the hoodies and like braless living our best lives. But I will tell you guys, after six years of doing this, you feel so much better and you are so much more productive when you are ready and feel like a normal human, whether it's pandemic days or not. So on that note, it's time to go get ready. I'm feeling like a brand new human. I feel like when you just feel yourself, you're so much more productive. Like I feel wide awake, I feel cute, I feel sassy, I feel ready to take on my day. Using a new palette today, you know, having a little fun with my life, regardless that like only people on the internet are gonna see me. And even on days when no one is gonna see me, it's just fun, especially right now. 
We all need these little glimmers of hope in our lives, these little moments of joy, these little whatever it might be. You are worth taking the time to get ready and feel good about your day. So I'm gonna get my hair done and uh, I'll see you guys later. Tossed a curl in my hair. Got one of my favorite headbands on because they just make me happy. And I'm ready to tackle the day ahead of me. Let's go back downstairs and actually get some work done. For your um, comedic pleasure for all of you without children, it is currently 11.57 a.m. I usually get up around 9.30. Nate leaves work around 10, 10.15. Yep, uh, that's my life without kids. I work till later in the day generally, but you know what? Living my best child-free life. Let's get downstairs and get to work. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know, I'm always on there looking like a hot mess. I have no shame. I will show you guys all sides of my life. And oftentimes I look homeless and that's totally okay. There is nothing wrong with that. Um, but on the days through I uh, get ready and get my hair done and get my makeup done and feel extra special, I make sure that I hop on Instagram stories and just show people that I'm not a complete swamp rat. Um, but I have no shame in showing myself, you know, all aspects of my life, whether I have a ratty bun and I've been wearing the same pajamas for three days or am simply, you know, getting my shit together and actually look like a real human. I'm sorry. Look like the autofocus is being weird and I hope it's not. Um, but I also am blind as a bat and need a new prescription, so it might just be my contacts. <laughs> okay, so um, I plan on opening an online boutique with home decor stuff and surprise, surprise, whole like decent wholesalers are kind of skeptical of working with someone who doesn't already have an up and running store. So I can work with like sketchy wholesalers who sell like anything to anyone, all comes from China and is garbage. Not all of it, but you know, a lot of it is. And may involve child labor, not really interested. Um, so I have been working um, the past few weeks just to kind of reach out and build some relationships with some wholesalers that have really good reputations that I really want to work with. Um, I got an email back from two of them this morning. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So I'm about to hop on and just respond, get some email work done. So you want to work along with me while I'm getting some emails done. Uh, usually I'll get ready, have my coffee, come down, get some, you know, content up on Instagram, get some emails done and then work through my to-do list. Um, so yeah, this is my next part of my morning. Um, again, though, guys, getting ready is like just a game changer. I feel like a brand new human, just like I'm not wearing anything fancy. I'm not, you know, I just tossed a quick curl in my hair really quick, but I feel so much better and like ready to be productive and kind of like tackle the world right now. And that is the whole purpose behind getting ready. So I'm gonna hop onto my computer here and get some work done. All right, 
So I'm super stoked. One of the wholesalers that I really wanted to work with wrote me back, gave me login info, and was just able to hop on and take a peek at some of the products that they have available. I'm super, super excited. So I foresee most of my day going through and finding what I wanna order with them, which is exciting. Um, but on my to-do list already today is to film my haul video of the stuff that I bought this week for Easter decor, well, I bought last week. And so I'm gonna set up to film and get into that before I fall into this rabbit hole. So that's something I wanna like, just suggest for you guys too. Every night before I go to bed, I always write a to-do list. I usually throughout the day, the day before, if things pop into my head like this, like this is something I really wanted to do right now, but it's not on my to-do list. So I have my to-do list for today and I work my way through that. If I have time at the end of the day, of course I'm gonna you know, hop on here and look through this stuff that I'm really excited to look at. Um, but if not, it's gonna go on my to-do list for tomorrow and that way I don't get overwhelmed and I don't get off track. So I know exactly what needs to be accomplished each day and then I, um, you know, put together a list throughout the day of things that pop up that I'm like, fuck, I want to do this or I should do that or oh my god, this X Y Z, email this person, whatever it is. I just keep like a running like notes tab on my phone for my to do list for the next day. If I get time to do that today, of course I'll add it on. But if not, then I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not forgetting anything. And tomorrow I know exactly kind of like where I'm starting and what needs to get done. So. That's that for just kind of my morning routine. I'm gonna get set up and ready to film my um, video for my haul. And I'm really excited because I got some really cute stuff. I haven't even taken it out of the bags since I bought it, um, just because it's just easier to keep it all together in one place. So I'm gonna go get ready to film that. getting the perfect shot for my thumbnail and Instagram. It takes time, it's not easy, but you guys get to walk through <laughs> what it looks like to take pictures of yourself at home with two dogs being crazy, making your camera shake. Fun times. All right, let's set up in here. I'm gonna film my haul video in here just cause everything is on the table. So I'm gonna bring a ring light in because it's not the greatest lighting in here right now, but you can see, ready. <laughs> There's so much shit in here. Okay guys, so you've been through my morning with me. I'm gonna get into filming my next video that'll be up later this week. But I hope you enjoyed just kind of seeing my morning routine and what it all looks like. After this, I'm gonna sit down at the computer, get some email work done, start editing this video. The one I'm filming now, I will edit, I don't know, probably tomorrow it's on my to-do list, but this is it guys, it's not glamorous. It's not as glamorous as it always seems on the internet. Um, but you know what, this is my morning routine. This is like the real and raw, like what I do on a daily basis. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about how I set up my week and how I plan out my schedule, you know, let me know. I'm more than happy to share. I know it has been a struggle this past year getting into this new kind of normal for everybody, which I know we hate that sentence, but it's the reality. 
And um, I hope, you know, there was something helpful that you guys saw in this. I hope you guys take the time to get ready and feel better and, and just see like the energy that gives you throughout your day too. I love you all and we will chat soon.